Hi, I'm Carol Berkman and welcome to my YouTube channel. I do acrylic pour paintings on this channel. I do other paintings as well, but this YouTube channel is specifically for acrylic pour paintings. Please watch, you might find it very informative and fun. And if you like what you see, give me a like, share it, and subscribe, it's free. Hi, Carol Berglund here with Carol's Art Creations. Oh, it's a little bit late at night and I'm tired. I haven't been sleeping very well. I'm going to do a little pour. I've got some colors I mixed up differently. And I've got white. It's the Folk Art Extreme Glitter White Hologram. It's really nice because when it dries, it dries with a glittery few. My pouring medium is Elmer's glue and water, about 70-30. I just eyeball it. I also um, added into the paints this Liquitex Gloss Super Heavy Gel. It's actually a paste, so I put it in there and I stir it with warm distilled water to make it creamier. So I add this in so that it gives the paint a gloss finish or rather a satin finish instead of matte. My colors are the Folk Art Pure. This is a beautiful Payne's Gray. Uh, Folk Art Yellow Daybreak. My absolute favorite red color, Tuscan Red by Apple Barrel. And then I've got the Deco Art Dazzling Metallics Peacock Pearl. So that's the palette. And I think what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to do a small galaxy pour, one of my favorite. I'll put down a base coat, put down a puddle of Payne's Gray. Fill this up and then release it little by little. So with the pouring mediums of just the glue and the water, and of course the gloss, I don't expect to get any cells. So I may go ahead and add some of the 3-in-1 silicone to create some cells to give it that galaxy look. But this time, I'm going to try something different. I'm going to do a white background. My black ones have been coming out too dark, so the colors on top are vibrant, but when they dry, the black just takes over and it's really dark. So I'm going to try, even though it's a galaxy, using the white because the center will be the Payne's gray. So we'll see how that works out. And I want a much thinner base coat. Better shake this. Give these a good shake just to make sure that your paint hadn't settled on the bottom. It does put air bubbles in your paint, but you don't want that thick settlement on the bottom. more than enough. So I'm just going to smear this out with a brush tonight and brush the corners. And this part is probably one of the more boring parts, so you're welcome to fast forward. Yeah, I think I'll add a little of the 3-in-1 silicone oil don't like the way it smells, but I do like it that it's a thinner silicone oil. It's not as thick. It seems to be a little bit easier to clear off the canvas once it dries. The uh, Coconut OGX Hair Serum. It's a thicker silicone, makes beautiful cells, but it has really made some of my paintings reject uh, the varnish when I go to varnish them. And I'm not the only one, so. But. Yeah, this is Halloween night. 
I'm in an older neighborhood and, uh, you know, most of the people here are retirees, retirement age. Although I work as a real estate broker, I am, um, you know, I'm older, so we don't really have kids in the neighborhood. And with this pandemic, I'm sure a lot of kids are not going out. So hopefully, interesting about this pandemic, I went out and uh, read about the pandemic of 1918. And it, it was interesting because some of the same things were occurring where some people were rejecting masks refusing to close businesses and you know it's a hundred years later we're still having the same old fight <clears throat> anyway it is interesting history though Parts of this is still a little thicker than I wanted, especially in the middle, so I'm going to shove some of this out, smooth it down. <clears throat> and honestly, this is my stress relief, so I just kind of like swiping and playing with the paints. Unfortunately, though, it's making my videos too long, so I do need to hustle up. These videos, just with the instructional nature, are longer anyway. So you really have to be into this to dig this stuff. Okay, I'm going to put this down. And I'm going to put my silicone in my paints. I'm going to go around the table and grab them. more than I wanted. Got to be careful of that. That was about three or four drops. It's going to go for two. And I do like to really stir that silicone. Oops. Oof. Oh well. It's going to get on there anyway. Yeah, I'm trying the uh, Elmer's Blue and Water again. Uh, it was about three. Because I do listen to other YouTube artists, especially the ladies out of Australia. Julie Q, Jenny Carr, Julie Carr, excuse me. And then there's Gina DeLuca, Nina. Villegas and Nelly D. All kinds of YouTube artists that are really well known. I got inspired and I love to do art anyway. And I do paint, but I take a while making a painting. I stop and I start. So I love the acrylic pour painting because you just pour it down and tilt it off and it creates something different every time. Sometimes you love it, sometimes you hate it. Two, three, four. Okay. Alright, 
So I'm going to start with just a little puddle of the Payne's Gray. I'm going to stir that well. In the center. Out like that small pancake. And then this is a piece of PVC pipe. So you put it down. You kind of want to circle around the edges with some paint. So you want to create a little like vacuum seal. When you fill up the PVC pipe with paint, then you start releasing it really slowly. And the paint runs up underneath and it starts to make cells. And it looks really neat. I've had very good success with these type of paintings. That's one of my favorites. So next, I think I'm going to go with some of this, a little bit of this red, and this is Tuscan red. I absolutely love this color. And some of the peacock teal. some of this white hologram, the glitter white. And finally my yellow. And I'm just going to layer these colors. Will I remember them in the order? Tuscan Red was next, I believe. Yeah, so it's Halloween and we got no kids coming. In a way, that's a blessing because I didn't buy any candy, which is good because I'm always having to watch my weight. Mostly I watch it go up. It's great when I get my weight down, but well, I've been off salad for a while. <laughs> Holidays are coming and Dress, so there's always chocolate. I'm going to do one small little thin, pour this all the way up. Okay, this will top it off. And I know this is slow going. 
totally great that you can fast forward. Okay, <clears throat> now what we're going to do is just lift it up one little bit. So I'm going to raise it up, but I don't want to break that seal. I want the paint to go underneath. So I'm going to raise it up and set it down. Okay, I'm starting to see some of the color underneath, and it's starting to spot up, so the cells are going to start coming up. I'm going to layer this up and go again, because I do need more paint. I'm going to tilt a little bit this way. I think I'm going to put some of the white next, next to that paint with gray. And the turquoise. And the yellow. That yellow and turquoise make some green and this red against it will make a little orange so that'll give us a slight color variation okay Just tilting this side to side and kind of spreading this paint a little bit. I'm going to put just a little bit of the Payne's Gray in the center, right there. I'm going to get my little tool and swirl that. Okay, so you just swirl the center around a little bit. cups back here. I'm going to let that sit and then probably tilt it. I 
kind of expected to see some of the brightness of the yellow, but I do see a yellow cell there, so that's cool. Got my sparkling water. No alcohol, even though I kind of feel like a little bit of alcohol. Right here is where that glitter white drop fell and it's thick, so I'm just going to pick this up. Okay. I'm going to tilt this off and see if we get some more of the nice... Ooh, I still see cells popping up. Maybe I will be patient. Yeah, I think I'll be patient. Because I'm seeing them pop up. That's cool. I'm glad I'm seeing some of the yellow pop up because this is dark looking. Now you can torch this and bring them up and then tilt, but that makes them big. I think I'm going to tilt and then torch to see what I can get up. I'm impatient, so I'm going to go ahead and tilt this a little bit. Get in this corner here. going underneath and wiping up all this extra paint flowing off. And let's see. Alright, I'll stand back and look at the sky for a second. There's a lot that I love going on. I like this lighter look. This has lightened up some of that beautiful Payne's gray mixed with the turquoise. I can see a little bit of the yellow wash, but I do want to see some cells. So now I want to torch it and see what kind of cells we get to come up. I had expected to see more cells than just coming up naturally on its own, but Mm. So I've got a torch. some little prickles 
little teeny tiny things. Little bitty pin prickles. I expected to see more of a cell come up. It's interesting. Wet my whistle here. Well, I do like this. I did think I'd get more cells. And they're still popping up. So I'm just going to kind of move this back and forth. That kind of stretches them. Helps them kind of pop up there. That's interesting. Yeah, I hadn't really expected a whole lot more cells to show up. And I guess my glitter white, maybe the glitter white is affecting the silicone. I don't know. So I'm going to give this a little while and see if my cells come up. And if they don't, I'm going to actually put some in my hand and sprinkle it because that definitely works. You see me do that in a lot of my paintings. But wow, I'm really surprised that these cells didn't pop up. I mean, little pin prickles did. I think I'll torch it one more time. I didn't really see anything else popping up there. So, okay, I'm going to polish it and I'm going to give this maybe five, ten minutes and we'll see if we come back if we get any cells. If not, I'm going to externally apply some of the silicone oil and get my paints covered up. Anyway, I'll be back with you in about five to ten minutes. We'll see what comes up. See you soon. Okay, I'm back. This really hasn't changed much. I think my mixture was so thick, especially with the uh, heavy body gel mixed in, it can make the paint thick. I'm just going to give this a little stir. And underneath, I do think there is some lighter looking paint that looks a little better to me. I didn't like that wobble. I like this wobble. So, you've seen me do it before. And so I'm going to do it with this painting, definitely. I'm going to just put some of this in the palm of my hand and sprinkle it on. And I think that's what it needs, for sure. It's 10 drops, and I just get my fingers in it, and I rub my fingers together, and then I flick it. And when I flick it, I try to follow the bands of movement. Okay. really tiny, tiny little cells. So 
I'm going to put my gloves on and I'm going to tilt this a little bit. By tilting it back and forth and up and down, you're stretching and we're getting these cells to look a little bit bigger. Trying to sit it down out of these puddles of paint. That's still pretty dark looking, but this is one of those pores where I think I'll come back after it dries and I'll add in some planets and a small moon and then some stars and I think it's really going to dress it up. I, uh, I don't know if I want to do anything else to this put it where you can see it. So I thought about flicking more silicone in here and here, but I'm kind of thinking no, because this, this looks like little tiny pin prickles be perfect for little stars. I could splatter with a toothbrush. And then when I put in a small planet and a couple moons. I think this is going to look great. I really don't hate it now, but I, I like this red, but it's a lot of it. I wish it were a little lighter. I really had hoped more my yellow and white would show up, but with the little cells underneath, uh, you can see. And I do like these little bitty, tiny little cells. It looks like a little asteroid belt. So this is pretty cool. I'm glad I got to create some art when I um, <clears throat> when I create a painting. It just really helps me decompress, and I'm hoping that I can sell some of these. Definitely going to rent a booth at the Art Walk around and scrape. Be sure that if you do this art, scrape underneath. Oops, I have got their side right there.
Right here, what I'm trying to do is match that color. I accidentally scraped some of the paint away. Yeah, that looks better. Anyway. Okay, so thank you for joining me. And I'm going to let this dry. And then once it dries, I'll bring you back and show you the dry result. Thanks, and please give me a like, share this, and please subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hi, Carol Berglund here with Carol's Art Creations. So this is the dried result, and I have this up on my easel because I'm going to embellish it. And I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to zoom in right in here. There's actually marks on the painting where the silicone oil was dropped. So that is interesting. But some of it did dry lighter. Just going to zoom you in here for a close up. Slowly pan around so you can see some of the details. So I like this painting, I really do. But I'm thinking I really want to kick it up a notch. That's what Emil Lagasse used to say in his cooking channel. So I'm going to add some planets and stars and just maybe some gaseous nebulae cloud, some different coloring, maybe lighten it up and see how this looks afterwards. I'm going to film the process, but i got to go get my tripod, so I will join you back here shortly. Hold on. Hi, Carol Berglund here. So this is the end result. And it's interesting that it actually looks like the little stars are twinkling. Something with my camera, me not holding it still. But anyway, I did not record where I airbrushed in all of these details and painted them in. And it really did take a while. I'm just going to pan around so you can see some of this. So I airbrushed in like some smoke or gases out in the clouds, some stars added the planets and I just think this really gave it a lot more interest I do like that space theme and as I said during the making of this this was inspired from Core, Core Color Art great website that shows you how to do these kind of paintings but I hope you enjoyed this if you did please give it a like share it and please subscribe to Carol's Art Creations thank you so much bye bye